Hey, hey, guess what? All of the results in your life are a result of your habits. Your habits come from who you believe you are. Hi, I'm Chris Thomas, and this is Land Flipping 101, where you can learn how to earn your financial freedom through land investing, even if you're a complete beginner with no experience, because I'm sharing with you exactly how I'm successfully doing it. So today's topic is healthy thinking habits to get you to success in land flipping. All right, but first I want to answer a question Frank Guerin asked, and also I saw John Lee asked about, um, can I elaborate on how I'm getting sellers to agree to a 180 day contract? Like how do I deal with their reluctance to wait six months to close? Well, here's what I would say. I would basically say, okay, Mr. Seller, I understand that you're interested in selling this property because, okay, then I'll fill in the blank with their motivation that they've already told me. Either they inherited it, it's in another state, maybe the kids don't want it, whatever the motivation is for why they're selling. Because it's raw, undeveloped land, Mr. Seller, we have a longer closing process. And to fully evaluate the highest and best use of the property, you know, it can involve many professionals like county officials, soil scientists, surveyors, and utilities. So we hope to close much sooner, but usually we allow six months just due to the length of time it can take to get on their schedules. All right, today's topic is healthy thinking habits. Um, for 2022, okay? All of the results in your life are a result of your habits, right? That's what I said in the beginning. Does that make sense? Your habits come from who you believe you are. And so today I'm just going to talk about healthy thinking habits and just give you some tips on how to make some of your, some positive changes in your life this year. I had a friend say to me, you know, I'm going to work hard to lose weight this year. And then in the same breath, she said, well, you know, I am big boned and my mom was big boned and my grandma was big and I hate vegetables and I, I never work out. Well, I, I just know that it's just a matter of time before she gains the weight back. And why is that? Because it sounds like to me, she believes that she and her ancestors, right, are big people. They've always been big and they'll always be big. And that's how she defines herself. And I think most people, if they really look at how they're living their life today, it's based on a set of standards and beliefs they, that often come from choices they made years ago. I mean, very often we make decisions at a very young age about what to believe and about what we're actually capable of and about really who we are as a person. And then that becomes the standard that controls us. All right, here's an example I've heard told before. You see um, when the circus elephants are young, you know, the trainer will tie a rope to their back leg and then they'll wrap it around a heavy stake in the ground and the baby elephant fights and pulls, but it's not strong enough to break free. And then over time, it just decides that it can't break free. And in fact, it learns to be constrained. And eventually the elephant stops trying because it believes that it cannot break free. And then later, as a fully mature adult elephant, its trainer only has to tie a rope around the elephant's leg and attach the other end to any pole or stake. And the elephant believes that it's trapped, even though it has amazing strength and power to break free. It has been conditioned not to use its power and strength. You know what? I think many of us are like elephants. We're, we're powerful spiritual beings with amazing gifts and strengths, yet due to earlier conditioning and programming in our minds by maybe our family or just society, you know, we hold ourselves back and we fail to realize our full potential. And we can let the past hold us back and we can continuously live out those same beliefs that we've been programmed to believe without ever questioning them. You know, that's just how it is. That's just who I am. I've heard people say, you know, this is how we've always done it. But how many of you are interested in building a new, higher standard in your life? I mean, look at any part of your life where you have adapted to, you know, be a certain way. All right, maybe you've always thought it was a limitation. 
but now you want to change and you realize it's hard to be truly happy when you're not being yourself. And most people really don't know who they are, but when you can understand your true self and connect like what are your real dreams and goals, that can be the fuel that excites you, makes you passionate, and helps you set new standards for your life. I think we live out who we believe we are. I mean, if you look at professional athletes, or um, or how about, um, look, every almost everyone knows who Dwayne The Rock Johnson is, right? He was a football player, and he was regarded as one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time. He wrestled for WWE for like, I don't know, eight years or so before he became an actor. But his persona as The Rock has become synonymous with his body. His habits include, you know, exercise, good eating, weightlifting, right? Duh. But he believes he is at the top of his game. And guess what? He is. But there are things that he does on a daily basis just because of his standards. He acts consistent with who he believes that he is. But he didn't get there without conditioning his life first. You know, he believed he could become one of the best, and he worked at it day after day, year after year. And he conditioned his life. He knew who he was, and he lived into that belief. If you don't know who you are, you don't act it out. But, but once you lock in on that identity, you're free to act, and that action brings joy to you because you're living congruently to your true self. And if your standard is that you are an athlete, let's say, then you're going to stay consistent with that. If your identity is being overweight, you'll always act consistently with that belief. Okay, so, all right, here's an example we can all relate to, all right? Just think about your own life. I mean, look at your physical body. Your body today is a reflection of one thing. It's not your goals or your desires, but it's your standards. It's your conditioning. It's your habits. And you will stay consistent with your identity. And you don't get a result without some habits which are nothing more than activities you consistently do over time. You know, these are the standards for conditioning your life in this particular area. You know, we all have the same 24-7, 24 hours in a day, seven days a week. You know, we're all busy. But if you have a compelling reason for doing something, like you want to take on a new challenge, you want to make a decision um, to challenge your prior thinking, um, it'll help you move to a new level and if you own it every day it becomes your standard and you'll find a way and you know what it's just little bitty things little steps that you do every day which are going to lead you to victory it starts with with the standard okay so if you're living a healthy life your standard is to plan what you're going to eat to be healthy go out to the gym work out if you're not healthy you're probably smoking you're drinking and you're sleeping in right and guess what money is the same way as it would be for for your weight or your exercise. You know, it's really just up to you to define the standard. And it really begins with a decision. Look at any successful person doing what you want to do in your life. What is the standard they hold themselves to? What are the daily habits which, you know, over time manifest their success? All right, here is a big secret. Like, this is what you paid for today <laughs> to be here. This is worth everything. Success and failure are not giant events. They don't just suddenly happen one day. Both of success and failure are going to come from little things done consistently over time. So failure would be like, I'm failing to send out the mail every day, or every week I should say. I'm, I'm failing to make that call. I fail to check the books. Maybe it's a relationship and you just, you fail to say, I'm sorry, but you push yourself to exercise or do something you don't want to do. Success is also little things. It's having a vision. It's having big reasons. And it's caring about it. It's Maybe it's delivering more in your business. But every day, um, for me, I have to demand more of myself than yesterday. And you know, most of us just lower our standards because of the people we hang out with. I've heard it said that you have the same net worth as your five closest friends. <laughs> Is it time to change who you spend time with? Is it time to find people who are a little farther along than you are? Like if you're in this land flipping 101 group, have you thought about teaming up with someone else to build your business? 
that's actually what I did. I teamed up with someone who is good at the stuff that I'm not good at and the things I don't like to do. That way I get to spend my time doing what I love in my zone of genius, if you will, while my partner spends time doing what's in his zone of genius. And together we're more effective and more successful. The only thing that's going to make you happy is to really step up, to raise the standard, to discover what you are capable of. You know, name who you are and tell yourself every day in the mirror with declarations or affirmations. You can really just change your way of thinking here. But if you believe it and then you decide that you're going to implement small habits and standards to back it up, and then you do those things every day without thinking. You know, keeping a promise to yourself is a huge way to build confidence. And that can be just something small. It doesn't have to be big. Maybe today you're going to join, you're going to wake up and say, today the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join a mastermind and start taking or talking um, land flipping with other people in the business. Okay, your vision with your, with your habits are going to lead to your success. So what's the area of your life where you really want to improve? I'm, he, I'm assuming you're here because you want to find financial freedom or, or maybe you want to quit your W-2 job. Why do you want to do this? And what will this do for you? So I want you to write down exactly the truth about where you are right now, okay? Just write it down. And then next, write down, you know, what are the changes that you want to see? What is your definition or your belief around that thing? And what are the habits that you um, that you need to live out around that thing. What do you want? Write it as a big goal and be specific. I want to make, let's say, $10,000 a month. And then write down all the small daily things that you need to do. When will you send out the mail? I mean, what day? What time? Okay, you see what I'm saying? If you want a new life, you can start today. Just move a few little things around. You get momentum once you discipline yourself in one area of life. This will build your confidence and then you can keep building. It's been said there is the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. Which pain will you choose? Hey Sam, I see you're doing the mailings. That's great. Madeline, hi, welcome. Margaret, good morning. Hi, Bob. Hi, Dan. Good to see you again. We talked yesterday. Hi, Pat. Pat's in my training right now. I'd love to hear how that's going for you. I'd love to help more of you get your land investing business moving forward. <clears throat> this is not that hard. Hey, are any of you interested in coaching? Um, let me know in the comments. I'm putting together an offer for coaching to help you build the daily habits you need to be successful in land flipping. And if that's you, send me a message in Facebook Messenger. Just say, I'm in for coaching. Um, also, you can email it to me at chris at landflipping101. If not, you know, if you have any other questions, please reach out anytime on this page in, uh, on Facebook, uh, Facebook's Land Flipping 101 page or you can comment below this video. Just uh, reach out in private messenger or send me an email. I would love to answer your questions and help you move your land investing business forward.